Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Team of the Year for Sharp 11 Music. Your favorite lumberjack is back for another breakdown of some jazz lines. <laughs> Grant Green on Round Midnight. The chord progression is D flat minor seven, E flat seven, A flat minor seven, D flat seven, and then E flat minor seven. So on B flat minor seven, he pretty much plays root and fifth, but both with a chromatic neighbor note. B flat, A, B flat. F, E, natural and F. Jumps up to the nine. This creates sort of an F minor pentatonic vibe. C, B flat, A flat and F. But when, when he gets to this F, he just plays the arpeggio of B flat minor down to the B flat. So down to the root. So giving us a B flat minor nine arpeggio. And then he goes chromatically down from the B flat to the G. So we have B flat, root, a natural is a chromatic passing tone to the flat seven. A flat resolves down to G, the third of E flat seven. And that's a very important connection for outlining changes. This flat seven resolution into the third of the chord. So these are your guide tones your third and your seventh. And from this G, he jumps up to F sharp or G flats, which is the sharp nine in E flat seven. E natural, which is a flat nine. Resolves into the E flat, which is a five in E flat, in A flat minor. And then he just plays the A flat minor triad from fifth down to fifth. So fifth flat third root five. And here is our flat seven again. And he plays around with the major and the minor seven. And once again, this resolution from flat seven down to third. F is a major third in D flat. Again, jump up to the sharp nine. This E natural or F flat. D natural, flat nine. Root, flat seven. Root resolves into B flat. And in E flat minor, it's the fifth, but this is also the major third in G flat major, which is what you would expect after A flat minor, D flat seven, G flat. So in G flat is the upper structure of E flat minor. And then he closes off with this little bluesy lick, sort of an E flat minor six or C diminished sound. So B flat minor nine with a neighbor tones for the root and the fifth, jumping up to the nine, laying out the arpeggio chromatically down from root to the flat seven, resolving into the third of the dominant, jumping up to the sharp nine, flat nine, 
resolving into the fifth of the new chord. Arpeggio down, up to the flat seven, playing a little bit with the flat and the major seven. But in essence, flat seven resolution to third. Once again, again jump up to the sharp nine, flat nine, sharp nine, root, flat seven, and resolving into our implied major third. This entire solo is so full of typical, I would almost say quintessential jazz, bebop, hardbop language. So if you want to have some clear examples of some jazz vocabulary and you want to work on that, do check out this solo because it is just full of these little nuggets and gems. If you want the full analysis, uh, go check out Patreon. I broke down the entire solo and I wrote everything down which I think there is to write. So go check that out. If you have any questions or any comments, do let me know and I will get back to you. I hope you liked this line. I hope you learned something or reinforced some old knowledge, which is also a good thing. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you guys next time.